Hi everyone, continuing from where I left you in the previous lecture. In this particular lecture, I will be telling you about the structure of the app of the Android application. In addition, I will be uh, using the the Android Studio uh, for developing the Android application, and uh, I can also uh, use Eclipse. Uh, um, I've also installed Eclipse, and I can also use that also for developing and the android application so it depends upon your choice and uh, <coughs> it's it's just a uh, um, matter of your uh, personal interest you can use any of these applications um, i'm using um, the android studio it is an intel ej uh, platform based chip uh, so it is uh, powered by the intel ej platform uh, based editor uh, ide in fact uh, so uh, it is an integrated development environment uh, you can develop the android application using this app, uh, application it takes a bit long to start uh, so I, I guess i must pause it uh, for a few minutes uh, oh so it's it will take a bit long so i'm pausing uh, it for a while i will come back uh, uh, once once it gets started so and so now let's begin with the uh, with a new fresh application and for that reason uh, you need to click over here start a new android studio uh, project uh, so it is a project which we are going to create so the single clicking it uh, so actually uh, and it's the application name uh, uh, let's let let it be some arbitrary name that let the serial of the the application be its name um, so that uh, we, we can remember that which application we created in which particular uh, uh, means video so which sequence okay so um, application one um, this is the first application and uh, let's go to next we, we will be developing around 20 uh, plus applications so as I've told you that uh, uh, what it does is that Mm, it it uh, uses a minimum it chooses a minimum sdk over here by default it is using uh, uh, the api 21 so api 21 is the application programming interface uh, label uh, used uh, for android 5.0 also known as the lollipop so uh, any application which we will develop uh, using uh, this particular uh, uh, minimum api uh, label uh, will uh, run over all the uh, all the operating versions of, of the of the Android uh, uh, which are over 21 uh, 21 and above that means so the 22nd version and the 23rd version also uh, would be able to execute and run the application uh, which which are developed by setting a minimum SDK level of API 21 so now let, let's click on next uh, so now I will I will begin with a blank activity. So I told you that activity is a is a, a single screen. So the screen will appear uh, like this, and there would be a symbol over here like this. Uh, so and an arrow symbol like this. So all this will be uh, you you will be able to understand all this that uh, uh, what uh, what all this is and the code behind all this uh, when we begin with the program so um, activity name so actually it is the first activity um, which is going to be created by default it uh, <coughs> names the activity as the main activity and uh, the layout uh, of that particular activity as the activity underscore main so i told you that uh, there is a particular uh, xml file associated so that would also be uh, covered so uh, the title will be the main activity we can also change the title uh, of the activity but uh, right now we are not changing anything and suppose uh, we, we just click over the finish to finish things up so it might take uh, about a minute or so because uh, it's a heavy um, ide uh, so uh, the cradle cradle built uh, the cradle um, which builds the application pack package uh, package okay. so 
so you can see that uh, there is this main activity the java file which is being created and there is this uh, context underscore main dot xml uh, so uh, if, if we talk about the structure of the application you can see that there is this app uh, and in, in the app we have the many we have the java files we have the resources we have the drawables in the in the resources we have the drawables the layout the menu uh, the the MIP map uh, so and the values so let's see that what these things are uh, first of all uh, as we can see that in the layout uh, by default there are two XML files that have been created the first is the content uh, underscore main uh, dot XML so this is uh, the XML file which is actually and uh, they are uh, appearing uh, right now on the IDE and there, in addition there is also an activity in the score main dot xml so if, if you you see uh, then uh, then you can understand that actually there are two uh, ways we can view uh, this particular xml file either in the text view or in the design uh, design view so if, if i click over here and uh, i want the design view and uh, so what would happen is that the how the activity is going to appear uh, we can see that uh, how the activity or the or the particular screen is going to appear uh, so it is taking a quite bit and sometimes there are certain rendering errors that uh, that occur but uh, hopefully we will fix those errors if, if in case they uh, uh, they occur and <coughs> you can see that it is uh, the end uh, and so uh, actually it is uh, picking up the uh, and the um, best uh, uh, so, uh, version so what happens is that uh, it is picking up the latest version uh, but there are certain things which are not installed yet uh, but if I click over here and I use the 6.0 uh, 6.0 version and uh, then hopefully um, actually uh, this rendering problems uh, occur because of the uh, theme the theme is if the theme is not appropriate and then these rendering problems will occur now you can see that uh, uh, this screen is appearing and it shows that uh, the uh, that uh, the application will look like uh, this particular the activity of the application will look like uh, uh, this particular uh, page so page in, uh, not uh, page but we can say that uh, <coughs> the a particular activity so if, if you uh, see and uh, then you can mm, have the uh, look over uh, over here and you can view that there is hello world written over here by default so if you create a particular bank activity by default then there is this particular application uh, this particular activity of an application uh, with the hello world written so this shows that uh, the application is um, almost uh, in initiated and uh, now uh, what we need is that uh, we are going to customize the application and we are going to make some application of our own so let's see that how, how is it going to work uh, first of all uh, let's see that uh, what is the difference between the content underscore main dot xml and activity underscore main dot xml if, if you click over here content uh, underscore main dot xml actually the earlier versions of uh, of the android studio uh, didn't create uh, the uh, sorry in the earlier versions of the android studio and and the earlier uh, versions which were there uh, of the APIs uh, used to uh, create a single file that was the activity underscore main dot xml so if you're going through the internet and you're searching and you're trying to develop things then it might be that uh, you might uh, find these things a bit difficult uh, in the in, uh, initially because uh, because over here uh, we have the two files instead of one file you can see that uh, there is uh, at the rate uh, layout uh, activity uh, main included over here at, the, at this particular line so actually the content uh, uh, main uh, as the tools and show in the uh, at the rate layout too. I will I will tell this all, all this to you uh, once we begin and uh, uh, you can see that uh, this particular look like this so if we are going to the design view of uh, any of these particular XML file uh, then hopefully uh, we are going to get the same uh, view but if we are going to drag drop uh, a particular view actually all these uh, things which we used to call components in, in, in the swing application development in Java 
uh, if you've gone through my swing uh, uh, swing lectures then you might be knowing that these are the components uh, which we drag and drop upon the frame or the or the applet uh, so uh, means uh, um, these are the components so over here we, we call all these as as the uh, view so if, if, we, if we want uh, to use any of this so we need to single click it and we need to drop it over here so you can see that uh, the content underscore uh, main.xml uh, is, is actually uh, we are able to um, position it to somewhere we are actually able to drop this somewhere over here uh, so I'm just uh, undoing this and I'm going to try the same thing over here so activity underscore main if I'm going to click it over here and I'm going to drop it over here then it is not going to work in the same way so this is the difference if you want uh, to drag and drop certain components and, and come to the content underscore main dot xml file and then uh, and drop it over here so you can see that uh, this is a particular component uh, in, in Android we can say that it is a particular view so uh, this is a particular view which we are using actually we can uh, so if, if, if you see that uh, uh, it's quite clear that uh, over here you can see that uh, uh, there is this uh, layout line and the rate ID text view 2 so so this is the ID uh, this uh, I was talking about and there are certain other properties so you can uh, you can use the uh, properties um, you can modify the properties and adjust the properties accordingly as you wish um, for a particular view uh, over here and we have the text view uh, as we have dropped the text view over here so so this is the so this is the second uh, text view which 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 we are using um, which we have uh, uh, plotted upon our uh, our uh, this particular activity and you can see that uh, the, uh, the relative there is a particular layout mentioned it is the relative layout uh, and um, uh, it is uh, the uh, so relative layout and, uh, and there are two text views over here uh, one is the text view new text and the second is the text view mm, this uh, hello world so uh, this text view to uh, is hello world and uh, this was by default and uh, then uh, there was this text view which was a new text so uh, these are the two uh, two text views which are there so first of all uh, let's uh, talk about the layout uh, what a layout basically is so uh, and uh, and about these particular properties of, of the components or in this particular case we can uh, say that we are going to talk about uh, the properties of of uh, this particular views so actually this is a view so uh, if, if you want uh, to go through the um, details then what we can do is that uh, uh, we can uh, just uh, uh, go to the text uh, text view of this particular um, the content uh, underscore main dot xml file and here we can see that uh, the, the, the components which are there or the views which are there placed upon upon uh, our uh, our uh, particular uh, this uh, activity um, so we can see that uh, there is a text view um, over here if you see we have a text view and the, it has a certain layout with wrap content and it has a layout height uh, uh, so all these actually um, what happens is that um, this is for the text view as I've uh, shown you that this text view is the uh, the text view which we have drag and drop so this was the new text and and the name over here is uh, the text view so what happens is that the ID and if you're going to use for this particular uh, uh, text view is the text view uh, so you can see that in the first text view which was uh, uh, by default over there uh, plays over there so the id of that particular text view is um, is uh, the text view 2 so you can see that uh, it is mentioned that um, at the rate plus id oblique uh, text view 2 so this is the way we assign an id to a particular view mm, over here uh, the view is the text view which we have dropped and the the ID which we have given is the text view 2 and the text uh, which we have 
assigned to it is the hello world so it is the text and uh, when we say that the layout width so actually uh, first of all we must know that what a layout basically is so this is the relative layout uh, i would strongly recommend you to go through the video of the swing uh, in which i have taught you about the layout but in, uh, just in case if you have not gone through that particular video in which i've uh, told you about uh, the and the layout in the java um, so that you need not panic in that particular case because i'm going to briefly discuss the layout over here also so the main thing uh, is that if you want to create a particular application and you are working on a particular activity you want to position the different uh, views and um, that is the components uh, like uh, what happened in the java we have this visual guide uh, to the layout managers so what happens is that uh, if we want to position our components suppose if, if there is a particular uh, frame in, in java in which we, we want to position our buttons like this then then we use the border layout uh, the box layout uh, lays down the components in this particular fashion uh, you can see that the bottom layout uh, first of all um, it, it is uh, placing the components on the top on the bottom on the left on the right and in the middle so this is the way how the border layout uh, works the box layout works in this particular fashion the card layout uh, places the components in this fashion and <coughs> flow layout so flow layout uh, one after the other in a flow uh, the grid back layout so it could be uh, vertical as well as the uh, horizontal uh, and and the grid back layout uh, so and there is the grid layout uh, and the group layout uh, spring layout so uh, all this we have uh, discussed in the in the uh, video uh, in swing development and i've told you about the uh, layout manager so uh, in addition if you want to know specifically about uh, the layout in the android then you can see that uh, uh, that there are several layouts uh, in in Android also uh, so what happens is that there is a linear layout so the linear layout uh, can position the things vertically or or it can it can position the things horizontally uh, so linear layout is a uh, layout which if you want to place the components one after the other uh, horizontally or vertically then you use the linear layout so as you can see that what happens is that uh, we are using the linear layout over here in this particular example and uh, uh, and and what happens is that the layout with this match parent so match what match parent does uh, actually match parent uh, uh, will allocate the uh, the space or the or the width that is uh, of the, the activity the activity is the parent over here on which uh, we are we are uh, using these views uh, actually uh, these uh, what i was explaining was that uh, uh, like over here we have this button so button uh, in in java we call all these uh, button and uh, radio uh, button etc text uh, field uh, text area etc as the components so uh, for that if you want uh, i will just uh, uh, search it over Google so different uh, uh, components compo uh, in in uh, Java so you can uh, see that uh, what are the GUI components actually uh, would be a better better term so uh, let's, let's open a few sites and uh, recall the things which we which were told so uh, these were the uh, different components like with the button the check boxes the uh, radio button color chooser combo boxes the dialog boxes all these are the components the frames the internal frames the labels the list the menus the panels the root panes some are the uh, means um, container components some are not in the container and they are the individual components that are that are dropped upon so if you, if you see that uh, the button is the j button it is a component so like this j text field if you want to place a text field like this so this is also a component 
and this is uh, a uh, checkbox so you can have different options and you can select you can check them uh, and the, the radio button if you want to select a particular option out of several the round boxes are there uh, round uh, this and you can choose a particular out of them so these were the, uh, called the components in, in case of the java programming uh, like this one is called the j comma box and uh, and in in android we have this uh, called as views so if you want then you can search about in the views in android so views in android so what happens is that actually view is a class and uh, and uh, all these uh, components are in this particular case we can say that uh, the views uh, are, are, um, are the extended versions of this particular class so you have the Uh, so you have uh, and the and the views like over here we have the analog uh, clock uh, the, uh, the image view the uh, keyboard view the media router button etc the progress bar the space and the surface view all these text view texture view view group and view stub etc so you know, all these are the views so uh, you can set the properties and uh, as I've told you that uh, you can use the different um, so button button actually button over here is a view like you know, like we had the component in case of swimming so button over here will be called a view and we uh, if we have several buttons or if we have several uh, views uh, over a particular activity then we, we have this uh, different uh, IDs for those particular uh, Active, uh, sorry, uh, views uh, so that we can identify them and we can use uh, and uh, uh, communicate with them uh, in our Java coding. So if, if we have this layout uh, with and we say that uh, wrap uh, wrap content, so what happens is that the, uh, it would uh, uh, wrap up the width uh, of this particular button equal uh, to the uh, to the content which which it will have. So in this particular case, as you can see, uh, that uh, when we were working, we had the same uh, sort of lines uh, that match parent. So, uh, so what happens is that uh, we, we first of all, uh, by default, there is this relative uh, uh, layout which is being used, and uh, we can also use the linear layout uh, and different other uh, layouts in in Android also. Like if we, if we want, then I, I'm also uh, searching from uh, for those. Uh, like we have the linear layout uh, and and right let's see so this is the linear layout let's see so in this particular case the components will be placed like this one after the other and then they are not placed vertically so they are placed horizontally so the orientation is the horizontal right now we can also uh, set up the orientation to vertical and uh, if, if we uh, want uh, we can also uh, set the weight also this will also be covered and like in this particular uh, way first of all we are having a layout and then we are having different components so we are placing the components on the particular layout we have chosen so that uh, the components are placed in the fashion the layout uh, the layout uh, actually uh, Positions. So what happens is that uh, the positioning is done according to the layout. In addition, um, the, the the size and the width, uh, the padding, all these things, and the orientation, all these things are um, decided with the help of the layout. So uh, first of all, uh, like uh, here, I've searched for the linear layout. Similarly, we we have the, the relative layout. We can also uh, search for the relative uh, layout over here. Let's see that uh, what the relative layout it, uh, is and uh, relative uh, the layout. Let's see that what it is. And if you go to this, 
you will find that incredibly or what happens is is that the positioning of the component is in this particular fashion so so one is uh, related to the other if you want uh, that this component should be placed uh, to the right of this particular uh, component or in uh, Android we must say that to this particular view to be placed uh, to the right of this particular view and uh, you want that to this to be placed at the bottom of uh, this particular view then all this uh, can be done that means the relative positioning of the components can be done by using the relative layout and uh, so as it has been described that uh, is a view group so uh, you can see that uh, it is a view group uh, so it is a view group um, because um, we are placing different views over this layout that uh, displays child views in relative positions the position of each view can be specified as relative to sibling uh, elements uh, such as the left off or bottom or blue another view a relative uh, parent uh, relative layout area and then uh, into the bottom left or center so positioning views uh, so we can have that layout align uh, parent top so if we have this then it will be the align to the top of the parent and uh, and if we say that center vertical so it will be vertical and centered so the layout below and the layout to write off so if you want to position in the, it uh, a particular view at the right of some particular other view so this is the way the uh, relative layout works uh, so uh, actually this particular uh, file over here is is uh, having uh, first of all it is having the layout so we are uh, by default uh, and the IDE is using the IDE over here is using and the relative layout and and then and the positioning of the components is um, which we are going to place over all the views which we are going to place over this uh, view group uh, would be done accordingly uh, as decided by the our, our layout so we, we will have this text view and uh, the id and uh, the unique id which is assigned to this particular text view is uh, text view 2 in the same way the, we have this particular uh, the, text view with the id text view and the text assigned is the new text uh, so you can see that there is uh, all the stuff about the components and, and the data which, which it has so uh, now like we have the wrap content it, it is going to uh, wrap throughout uh, uh, so, uh, the content and um, if, we, if we have um, if we want it uh, to be the relative to the parent and we can uh, say that match parent um, but over here if we want to uh, wrap it according to the content so we can use the wrap content and in the same way so uh, the layout is ending over here we are just having the two uh, components over here uh, means two views over here the text the text views which we have placed uh, so if, if we go through this uh, particular hmm, particular uh, activity main so you can see that uh, all there are actually a few other things uh, uh, which which we are not uh, actually uh, seeing right now but you can see that there is this thing this bar over here uh, which is by default uh, we can see over here so uh, placed over here so this is the toolbar so it is having the id toolbar and it is um, also the match parent it is uh, matching the width of the parent and the height is attribute to action bar size so uh, color is the primary uh, background color so uh, so in this way uh, we are assigning the attributes to its properties uh, in a similar way we have the floating action button so means all these are there in the layout so a bar uh, layout also so uh, uh, now what we can uh, do is that first of all and the, the view which I which I just placed I'm just going to delete uh, that uh, view so uh, for that reason I'm, I'm going uh, to just click to, to delete a button over here 
and uh, I'm going to get back uh, to the original uh, blank activity that appeared uh, by default and now I'm going to, to then describe how I will discuss about this particular main activity the Java file so what happens is that uh, as I've told that uh, that the main activity dot class extends the uh, the activity class but uh, over here you can see that in this particular API version we have the app compact activity so this activity is also an extended version of the activity class and by default uh, the activities now extend this app compact activity so you can see that uh, uh, we, we are actually uh, 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 overriding the on create method so on create method is a method which is there existing in the app uh, uh, in the app compact activity so we are going to overwrite this uh, so so as we wish uh, to overwrite uh, to overwrite this particular um, uh, method on create method um, so actually there is a particular um, uh, state uh, uh, state of of the uh, instance uh, so uh, what happens is that uh, at a particular time the uh, st a particular state of an instance is saved and uh, on create that particular state of the instance is passed uh, uh, in order to get the actual state of the activity which was there um, at the end uh, when we use it previously and um, uh, set content view so this is the main thing uh, you can see that set content view so uh, the content view over here would be set uh, so you can see that uh, this particular view um, means over here the set content view is um, taking r dot layout uh, dot activity underscore main as as a parameter so we are passing this particular r dot layout dot activity underscore main so if you, if you uh, see that uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, resource uh, this is the resource uh, subdirectory under the app directory and in this particular subject there is this particular layout to directory and in this particular um, subdirectory and uh, the layout subdirectory we have this activity underscore main dot xml and content underscore main dot xml so what uh, this content view is doing is that is setting the view of the activity to this particular uh, the XML file, the activity underscore main dot XML, which we were um, seeing earlier over here. Mm, so the mm, this particular uh, Java uh, main activity is going to uh, set um, the the layout uh, uh, to the activity underscore main dot XML file. Uh, now what happens is that there is a toolbar. So uh, we want uh, that uh, uh, it should be uh, recognized, the toolbar should be recognized so that if we want to interact with the toolbar then uh, there is uh, no problem for us uh, to do so. So what we need is that uh, we are just, uh, uh, first of all we are finding uh, this particular toolbar. So this is, uh, we are going to find it by r.id.toolbar. So in order to recognize this particular toolbar, uh, that uh, uh, if we have toolbar in the XML file, then and then we, we need uh, uh, to find that particular toolbar. So we are going to search for that particular toolbar by its ID. So it is under the r.id.toolbar. So this is the r.id in the activity underscore main. You can see that there is this particular uh, toolbar and this particular toolbar id is the toolbar so we are talking about this particular toolbar okay so mm, suppose uh, so we are just typecasting it to the toolbar and now uh, we are referring it with the name toolbar okay so it's a support action bar so now we have this action bar and we are passing toolbar all this i will explain later um, but uh, uh, so uh, some of the things uh, you might have understood till now and uh, there is this uh, option menu uh, that uh, that is there already existing and the option item selected uh, menu item so all these things are created by default uh, but we do not uh, uh, discuss about these things because uh, that detail is not needed right now but uh, let's move on and uh, now 
create something and modify something and have the code and uh, feel of uh, uh, feel of developing an app okay but prior to that let's see that uh, by default uh, what will appear if we are going to run this particular application uh, so actually uh, we uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, you see that uh, AVD manager we have this particular AVD so what this particular AVD does is that it is a virtual and write device uh, so this AVD manager we can use to create different AVDs uh, that is the virtual devices and write devices we can create I've created over here I've created two virtual Android devices one is the Nexus 4 and one is the Nexus 5 so Nexus 5 is using the API 21 and Nexus 4 is using the API 23 um, so um, I don't need uh, to to run the application which is created um, uh, by uh, loading it to, uh, to my device uh, but uh, in fact I can execute uh, uh, that application in this particular uh, virtual device um, so if, if you wish uh, then you can create a new virtual and write device and it is quite easy just you need to uh, click uh, um, here I clicked uh, so like over here uh, create a virtual device and then there are several options if you want to uh, you want Nexus 1 you can click over here and next uh, and so on so this is not uh, a very troublesome task uh, so uh, actually I'm not going to create uh, any new uh, virtual device but uh, just in order to tell uh, you all that how this works I was I'm going through that okay now let's see that uh, if, if we are going to uh, run this particular uh, project uh, that has been created by default then what is going to happen so uh, so let's 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 run okay so from here we are going to run this uh, let's see that what happens now so it is saying that yes okay let's let's run it as an app so it is asking me that if i want it to be running over the nexus 4 uh, virtual device uh, that is using the api 23 or uh, else if i want if i wish i can also run this particular application uh, on nexus 5 uh, virtual device which i have created um, so actually uh, when when we um, run this particular uh, project then the AVD is starting and uh, and the package which is going to be created is the dot apk package so what happens is that uh, the dot apk uh, package is the package of the application and uh, it is the package which we need to transfer over the uh, internet uh, onto the uh, google uh, play store or we can also transfer it directly to our mobile phones uh, if you wish and uh, then we can execute them uh, in the uh, on our mobile phones and we can use uh, those particular applications then so uh, this is the gradle build running so what gradle does is that uh, gradle is going to build in the apk uh, so it will take uh, quite a bit of time so i'm just pausing it uh, because uh, it uh, actually takes a bit of um, time more as expected because it, uh, the uh, overall uh, so this process is quite uh, <coughs> heavy so uh, let's pause it for a particular time uh, so now we can see that um, this particular application is running on this particular virtual device and um, there is this hello world written but uh, it is so simple and um, not something too good uh, you can see that uh, this was uh, something which I was uh, trying that but uh, we're not going in detail for all this and uh, and uh, we are going to uh, go back to the code so for, so let's let's uh, first of all uh, go back to our code so actually it is uh, taken too much of the space so uh, what should I do is that I'm just going to double click over here to increase its size now um, so uh, okay uh, so I was uh, telling you that um, that this, this particular uh, 
um, set content view is going to describe that uh, what the particular activity is going to display so other layout dot activity underscore main is the XML which it is going to display and so now um, let's let's add upon certain component and see that uh, how we can interact with those components in our Java code mm, so now let's uh, let's drop uh, drag and drop upon certain components as we had this particular uh, text view let's first of all um, de delete this particular uh, text view okay, actually there is certain uh, rendering uh, problem so I need to correct those things also uh, so first of all uh, let's um, let's delete uh, this uh, which was there by default and now I'm going to uh, place up a multi-text line over here uh, so that we can have multiple lines of the text to let let uh, it be positioned somewhere oh sorry okay I will adjust uh, the position um, so I've deleted uh, this particular um, hello text uh, which was uh, there by default and I've just placed a uh, multi-line text over here um, so I'm going to uh, use this particular multi-line text to uh, so as you can see that the uh, width of this particular um, field is not uh, matching its parent. Uh, so this multi-line text needs uh, to be as uh, as uh, wide as this particular uh, parent width. So for that reason what we can do is that uh, we can go to the text uh, view over here and we can see that there is this edit text which is appearing over here and uh, the width is a uh, wrap content but we can actually uh, change it to the match parent so I'm just uh, just copying it over from here and uh, uh, control C uh, and uh, uh, let uh, let it uh, match to its uh, parent uh, okay now let's see that it's working uh, fine or not and go to the design view you can see now that it is size is uh, its width is uh, matching to its parent so uh, we can actually also uh, write uh, fill parent instead of the match parent and its its work is also the same as uh, the uh, match parent uh, so you can see that uh, uh, hopefully this is working in the same way uh, sorry I guess that okay it's okay now uh, let's see you can see that it's it's width is uh, equal to its parent. So um, uh, suppose in addition we want uh, to use the linear layout. As I told you that linear can uh, we can use the linear layout to place the component either vertical or horizontal. So for that particular reason we can use the linear uh, layout. Uh, let's change uh, the layout to the linear layout. Uh, so hopefully uh, that. Uh, this is <coughs> so uh, what happens is that uh, it, it is now uh, the linear uh, layout uh, which is being used instead of the uh, earlier uh, relative layout too. Uh, so as we know that in addition uh, we also need to have the orientation so uh, we can uh, enter and it, uh, change so on the second number we have the orientation so we, we want the vertical orientation you can see that the uh, ID is too intelligent and um, not uh, needing much of the effort so um, I'll just change it to the match uh, parent so uh, actually commonly we use the match parent uh, and um, now we are going to uh, modify the edit text so in addition there are uh, certain more um, attributes or the properties uh, which we can use suppose if we want uh, to change the height uh, and uh, um, we want uh, it to be adjusted accordingly and we want to add some more components uh, for that reason what we can do is that uh, let's suppose first of all we want that the text uh, uh, is uh, actually uh, actually there is a particular limit uh, to the number of uh, um, words that we can use uh, we can write uh, so that what we can do is that uh, 
uh, we can limit it by it, uh, using the max length uh, attribute. So uh, you can see over here that this is the max length, and then we enter over here, and we can use suppose 100 words. And uh, now, in addition, what we can do is that uh, uh, we can have the height uh, adjusted. So if we want that uh, the it should occupy the whole space from top to bottom. Uh, what we can do is that uh, we can um, assign it to particular weight. Uh, we can have different weights. Uh, so we have this uh, uh, layout weight over here, and uh, let's let's have it uh, to uh, suppose uh, we want it to be one. Okay, now. And in addition, one more thing we will need is that. Uh, uh, we will uh, need to uh, have uh, the height adjusted to the uh, zero dp. So, uh, so what we will do is that uh, uh, we are going uh, to use the attribute to <coughs> for the for the for height. Uh, where is it gone? So, but it would be the zero dp. So. Actually, we are changing it to the DP. So, uh, okay. We need to remove this uh, additional. So, uh, that's okay now. In addition, I'm, I'm just uh, adding another uh, button. Uh, sorry, a button over here. So, for that, uh, let's see. Mm, actually, should not have done this right now because it is uh, taking the whole weight uh, to one so it is occupying the whole space so what what I can do is that uh, for now I can I can just change it to suppose uh, uh, oh my god let's change it on on its own so uh, uh, let's first of all uh, drag drop a button so uh, that uh, you see that the button is over here and uh, I can drag it over here but it's not looking that good you can see that the button is uh, like too large because it changed it to 0.31 this one changed to 0.31 now it is adjusting itself and taking the rest of the space but uh, um, let's um, now change and attributes uh, say let's say that the button also occupies the whole space and for that uh, reason uh, for this particular uh, we're not going to uh, have the width like this but uh, but the width would ma be matching the, uh, the the parent so which is uh, the match parent and you can see that now it would be having the uh, with equal to its parent and then mm, uh, we can have the height um, and we can adjust the height uh, to wrap content so that the uh, rest of the space is just uh, so wrap content uh, I'm using it over here and uh, the text over here let uh, let it be save button so save is over here and the ID over here, let the ID, uh, let us change the ID to save because this button will be used uh, to save the file uh, because uh, we are just creating a file which will have the text uh, in it and uh, that text uh, actually um, will be uh, saved uh, as we save the file we click on the save button which is there beneath uh, so for this we are going to remove the weight from here and uh, Let's uh, do it uh, like it. Uh, the genuine. Okay, so hopefully this is going to look up uh, uh, now. But uh, you can see that the button is uh, going a bit down. Uh, but if we kind of run it. Okay, and uh, let's see that what's the problem. Why, why, why this component is uh, going to that uh, a, a bit uh, low, not at the top. So. Uh, what I guess is that uh, the layout uh, margin top is 93 so we need to remove uh, this uh, what actually this is going to do is that uh, the margin there is no more margin now 
and it so now actually uh, this uh, uh, let's remove this uh, also because uh, we're using the vertical layout and I guess that this will not uh, um, be needed uh, so uh, let's let's uh, like this uh, by default uh, things we're not using and uh, but actually this particular uh, layout uh, what is doing is that uh, it is uh, <coughs> actually uh, being uh, assigned to, to one assigned a value of one this means that uh, the remaining space which should be left after this particular button uh, will be occupied by this uh, edit text and we've not uh, given any weight to this particular uh, component or the view though we are not giving any uh, weight to this particular button but if in case we are going to assign a particular weight to this particular button and in this case as we have only two views one is the edit text view and another is the button view in our app so what will happen is that uh, uh, is that uh, if, if I'm going to assign one over here and 0.5 over here so uh, the overall uh, the height uh, uh, will be divided uh, uh, among these two components uh, in a way that uh, this uh, component will be using uh, two-thirds of the space and this will be using the one-third of the space that is this component's weight is the double of that of this particular component this particular view so uh, so, so overall it would be 1.5 so from among 1.5 it would be using one so two-thirds of the space uh, would be used by this and uh, one-third would be used by this and uh, now let's see that it's working fine or not uh, hopefully it should be working now fine okay uh, so uh, let's go back to the text uh, uh, view and um, let's also uh, let's also remove this particular uh, uh, paddings uh, because uh, these paddings are uh, crossing table uh, because uh, it's not uh, working in the way I, I actually thought uh, it uh, to be working off uh, for this particular application so now now hopefully uh, it should be working correctly now you can see that the button is also visible and it will be there at the bottom and this would be using this uh, in fact if, if you want uh, to, to have the particular size of this particular so what we can do is that if it is using one then let's let's allocate a weight to uh, a weight of this uh, particular component uh, to be <coughs> sorry equal to let's say uh, one tenth of this one so point one so this would be occupying the uh, ten times the space occupied by this particular button and now let's see that, uh, uh, that how is it working uh, is it uh, looking fine or not okay it's looking a bit uh, fine okay uh, not an issue actually uh, uh, this is not the correct way of uh, modifying the things actually i think that i must remove this because uh, oh sorry uh, because um, if, the, if the size of the text increases uh, and then and this might create trouble but in this particular case as the uh, size is fixed it is not going to use more than 100 words uh, in this particular case it is not a problem so let's uh, let's first of all run this particular application and see that uh, how is it uh, working now so uh, let's see run and i'm um, using this particular nexus uh, for, okay pi 23 okay not a problem i will come back as uh, soon as it is it starts working uh, still it has not launched but i just uh, uh, restarted the recording because I want to show you that it, uh, it shows it appears like as if uh, it is the um, particular uh, Android uh, based uh, smartphone and not uh, and not a particular virtual device the way it, um, it uh, shows messages like it's saying that Android is a prayer thing uh, starting apps Oh, thank God! Actually, <laughs> it took too long, uh, more than I expected it to take, because uh, my system already has a 6 GB of RAM. So I was expecting it to run fast, but this time it uh, 
and didn't uh, but according to my expectations uh, indeed it took a lot uh, about uh, 20 minutes it took uh, this time to start this particular emulator and this particular replication and it, uh, what oh god what has happened I guess uh, that the uh, application is uh, okay it is working it's uh, not an issue so you can see that um, we have the edit text field over here so what we can do is that we can write if we wish to write something over here like uh, the, the, Mm, so uh, we can write what we wish to write over here. So like like I wish to write that uh, hello. Uh, uh, one second, I don't know that why is it uh, taking so much time. I guess that it is hanged. I'm going to just restart the application once again. Uh, one second. So now it has started working uh, perfectly as expected. So, like I can write uh, here, over here now. Uh, welcome to Indian uh, programmer uh, YouTube. YouTube, uh, as you know, that uh, I've limited it to uh, uh, to hundred uh, words. So. If I'm going to write uh, more of the contents, so it is going to not um, uh, write more than 100 words. Like you can see that. So let's see that. Uh, hopefully, 100 words and somewhere. So it has ended now. I know no, it is still writing. Whatever, it will not write more than 100 words. I uh, guess that uh, these are 100 words, uh, that's why it is not writing anything now. So, this is the limit that has uh, been reached. So, um, okay, so you have uh, uh, understood this, and you can see that there is the save button also, which is appearing at the bottom. If I click over here, uh, not getting anything. So, the next time. <coughs> Actually, I, I need to tell you about the events and the event handling. So if you click up on a particular button, and one more thing, you can see that it is uh, not uh, appearing at the at the uh, uh, top, but it is appearing somewhere in the middle. So uh, the reason uh, uh, over here uh, needs to be identified. So uh, uh, so for that reason, what we need is that uh, um, uh, we we need uh, to set the gravity to the of the edit text to the top, and I've just changed the uh, and, and just assign the gravity to the top of the edit text, and I've just uh, rerun this application. And hopefully, uh, this time uh, when it starts, it would work uh, perfectly the way as expected, uh, from the top to the bottom. It should allow to write. And I can see that this is coming uh, somewhere on the top. If you can see, uh, although the application has not yet started, but uh, but uh, we can see that uh, there was a cursor here, which is blinking over here right now. So it is now uh, looking perfectly the way as expected. Uh, let's wait for a few more seconds and then start writing uh, so that it, it doesn't hang. Uh, so there's like the Falcon uh, to to. Indian Craig Ramar on YouTube YouTube uh, and um, Sarah. Chopra. So, <coughs> and <coughs> in next lecture, I would uh, be teaching. So, as you can see, that it is not writing anything more. Uh, I intend to write that uh, in the next lecture I would be teaching how to save this 
uh, a particular text file if I click over here and then it should save somewhere and uh, you can see that when I click over here then there is a message that appears but uh, I need to have the event handling you can see that the thread took it uh, this much second and that much second is not appearing so but but uh, right now if I click on this particular button then it is not uh, performing any action so I need to discuss about the action that is performed when an event occurs and the state of the, uh, the and this button will change and it will correspond to, to the code uh, which is intended to run uh, when this uh, event occurs uh, and it is an on-click event that occurs uh, but then that will be discussed in the text lectures upcoming lecture and I would also be telling you about the database uh, uh, connectivity to the applications uh, in addition I will be telling you about uh, the codes uh, uh, the certain applications and there would be some coding as in this particular application uh, we didn't uh, uh, write uh, anything at this particular portion that is the main activity of java but uh, in the upcoming lecture uh, this thing also will be taken under consideration and we can also uh, change the, and uh, give good names to the applications but uh, this time uh, this was enough as uh, this was the uh, only the um, first application which I was uh, uh, trying to uh, make for you all uh, so thanks for watching have a uh, great day ahead okay